Good evening and welcome to the annual gala dinner uh, promoted by the Brazilian Chamber of Commerce in the United Kingdom. As Jaime has said this year, we have the benefit of the presence of the central, uh, the president of the Central Bank of Brazil, uh, who was, would be giving a keynote speech later on. We're also very gratified to have two exceptional awardees uh, for this year's presentations. Lord Bamford, chairman of JBC, British Construction Equipment Company, who has been present in Brazil and is growing his business in Brazil. Uh, he was actually visited by the Prime Minister when the Prime Minister uh, went to Brazil. And of course, Mr. André Esteves, one of the most innovative young uh, economists and uh, 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 financiers in Brazil, who has established a major investment bank, who has been expanding throughout the world adventures in Latin America, and now very much present in the UK, but also looking for in increasing opportunities throughout the world. This year, Brazil uh, has gained a lot of visibility on account of several different dimensions, most especially the World Cup, which we're going to host in a month's time. It's going to be a wonderful event where the Brazilian energy, the passion for football, and the Brazilian knack for promoting festivities is going to be present. Uh, we expect, and, and this is an, an attest, uh, a testimony of the relevance that football has acquired around the world, for the World Cup in Brazil, we expect 30 billion cumulative viewers over this period, which is something that is five times larger than, than, than what we expect for the Olympic Games, which are going to be hosted by Brazil again in Rio de Janeiro in 2016. This is also an election year. Uh, for us, elections are very, for everybody, elections are a very busy time, a very hectic time, promoting many uh, accelerations in many dimensions. But fortunately, Brazil has acquired the level of maturity that it doesn't generate major impacts in the markets any longer. Uh, this was very clearly the case in the last election when President Dilma was disputing the presidency with uh, then Governor José Serra, and Petrobras decided to launch the biggest IPO in Brazilian and at that time international history during the election period because we knew that this was not going to affect the results. We know that the, the, the uh, commitment that the Brazilian government and state have taken to the basic elements of macroeconomic stability is, go is going to remain unchanged. And that because of that, the election has a, obviously a major outcome in Brazil today, but we don't expect fundamental changes in the fundamental policies of the country. So we're very glad to be having this event once again this year. This is already, I think, the 14th event that we are hosting. And uh, I hope you, you enjoy yourselves during the evening, and we'll have a number of occasions to uh, speak once again. Thank you very much.